Hey guys, welcome to the first video for 2021. It's not about any more goals because I'm still not 100% sure that I'm doing those. Today I wanna to share a um, really simple but elegant Excel trick for counting uh, unique values or mostly uh, quantities connected to unique values. It's a bit of a weird situation, but uh, in both my current job and my last job and the job before, I've had to do it at some point. And I never figured uh, this uh, like really easy way to do it. And a friend of mine approached me, me being his Excel guru. So uh, he wanted me to help him out with a similar situation. And I did a little digging and I, I found this really awesome way to do it. By the way, guys, uh, if you're enjoying the videos, a sub will be amazing. I'm just about to hit 600 subscribers. <laughs> I also noticed that like 97% of the people watching my videos are not subscribed, which, um, yeah, I shouldn't probably mention that. So yeah, let's just go ahead, open Excel and see what we can do. Here in Excel, I have this spreadsheet that uh, my friend sent me and it's pretty much some data about what kind of parts go into each product. What we want from here is to have a total number of products that are gonna be produced so we can calculate our freight cost, our delivery costs. And uh, we know that our cost per unit to deliver is uh, 15 euro. We wanna know what our total quantity, so we can calculate our cost. The problem here is that there's no easy way to do that. First, we can look at the order quantity and if you don't know the system, you might think that you should sum all those for product one, but this actually shows you that for product one, you get this part this many times, and uh, all the other parts for each single product. But the order quantity is the same for each line because it's the same order. So from product one, we only need 200. From product two, we need 150. We cannot easily calculate that, especially if we have like thousands of rows. Here we can just grab one cell holding control and we know that 950 is what we're looking for, but how we can do it with a the formula? There's some ways to do it with pivot tables, uh, but I had an issue there. First, it was really complex, and uh, then I had an issue that when I have two products with the same quantity, it's a bit of a problem. I Googled a bit and I found the following solutions. We're gonna use the COUNTIF formula, and we're gonna count how many times each of the products appears. So let's say for product one, we should get 10, for product two, we should get seven and so on. So count if, and my range will be just this range fixed with an F4. And my criteria is gonna be the same range fixed with an F4. So the next thing we want is we want to prorate. So we have this 10 times, uh, this seven times, this 15 times, and uh, in order to prorate it, I'm gonna have one divided over this. Let's just copy it down. And now the idea is that, let's say if we select everything for product two, we should get one. If we select everything for product one, we should get one again. So if we now calculate our quantity for the order multiplied by our proration, we know that for this line only, we have 20. And if we bring that down, we can see that for product one, we have 200, for product two, we have 150 and so on. So now our total quantity will equal this sum here. 950 and uh, that way we can calculate our total freight cost. But if you wanna do that in a single formula, what we have is we're gonna have a sum product with two arrays. So one of our arrays will be directly the proration. So one over count if, and let's select the whole range and that's the whole range for the criteria. Again, so this takes care of those two. And then we're gonna calculate uh, the sum product, which would 
take the result from this and multiply it by this order quantity. And we get a zero. I don't know why, but uh, that's the issue that I mentioned here is that this worked that way, but once we do it that way, the only way to fix it is to just um, make sure that this criteria is a string. And to do that, I'm just gonna append, concatenate with the uh, end sign, just an empty string. If we do it that way, it works. I couldn't find any explanation why does this work this way. So if you know why, leave a link in the comments below to some resource or just explain why. Yeah, that's that's the way to do it in a single formula and we could do this directly here and to ensure that every time we have like different data pasted here, we'll always uh, get the total quantity regardless of how many rows we have. Okay, that was it. I hope you found this interesting and um, it's, it's a pretty specific um, problem that you might solve using uh, this approach, but still, at least for me in audit and in controlling, it's come up a few times, similar problem that I solved with some really complex uh, formulas and uh, pivot tables, and it was a complete mess. So I'm really happy that this friend approached me and I was able to come up with this really simple approach. And I've noticed that a lot of times when I'm trying to find the solution for someone else, I come up with a much more elegant and much more simple solution because my starting point is always that if somebody's asking me for help, then probably, it's not certain, but probably my Excel skills are a bit more developed. Something that I might come up with as a solution may be too complex uh, for someone else to use on a daily basis. Of course, once I explain it, people would understand it. It's not rocket science, it's just Excel, but uh, if they have to apply it in their day-to-day -day work, it would be much easier for them if it's a simpler solution. Quite often, I find that I come up with the best solutions to, to different specific problems when I'm doing it for someone else. Just wanted to share that, so thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and maybe even punch the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Till then, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.